Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at the grocery store, Whole Foods. The big Whole Foods on the north side of Chicago on Ashland and Belmont. We've been coming here a lot this month because they gave us the all access pass. So I thought I'd be right to do like a huge Whole Foods haul because the beauty of shopping here is they have some next level Bobby approved uh, items here. Some of them you can find at other grocery stores, others not so much. So when we go around showing you some of my favorite things to buy here, I'm gonna point out other stuff you can find at other grocery stores and things that are Whole Foods exclusive. But the reason why I want to do this haul here is because there's some really great stuff here that I think if you can get access to it, you probably wanna buy it and put it in your body. Before we get down to the nitty gritty, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, share, all those good things. But you guys, we have so much quality content dropping on a weekly basis. There's a bell icon right below the video. You're gonna wanna enable all notifications, especially that live stream on Friday night called Hashtags Friday with Flav. We make a recipe from start to finish. We hang out with the community and have a grand time. All right, let me grab our shopping cart and we're gonna go get our shop on. Let's start this video at a brand new product I just saw last week for the first time. But the product lives in the kefir section, or is it kefir? Is it kefir Sutherland style or is it kefir? I don't know. I keep saying kefir, but someone leave a comment down below, let me know. But most importantly, this is stuff I really like to have in my fridge because probiotics are good for your gut. And we talked about it before, 80% of the cells that make up your immune system live in your gut. We're a dairy-free household and there's a new dairy-free player on the street that is gangbusters. Harmless Harvest, you know them from the coconut water, make a dairy-free yogurt drinkable probiotic kefir that has coconut water, coconut meat, no sugar, and live and active cultures. The no sugar, added sugar, is very important because when you add sugar to kefir, kefir, yogurt, any of these things, you kill the probiotic benefit, right? It cancels it out because what they do is they pasteurize this, they add the live and active bacteria so they don't kill it in the pasteurization, but the sugar sitting in here would kill it. This is so cool to me because the coconut flavor is fantastic. There's also some other options here. Check this out, Art. This is dairy-free almond-based here, but you gotta go with the sugar-free because once again, not only will it cancel out the probiotic effect, but guys, when you're talking about 14 grams of added sugar in an eight ounce portion, that is over three teaspoons of added sugar. That's too much sugar. That's why I made the video about sugars the other week. We have a sugar addiction problem and it's stuff like this that is crazy because 3.5 grams of uh, teaspoons of sugar in a one serving portion is way too much. Now, if you're also dairy free, these guys make a really good one. Uh, it's a cashew and uh, coconut cream pr uh, probiotic kefir. But for my dairy family, this is the beauty of being at Whole Foods because I've never seen this anywhere else. Check this out. This is Kelowna. It's 100% grass fed plain kefir. When you get grass fed organic, it has the highest nutritional profile of any other uh, dairy. The funny thing is their milk right behind Art is not 100% grass fed. It's just organic and pasture raised, but their kef uh, kefir is. And then these guys make a bomb kefir. This is 100% grass fed Maple Hill, plain. You don't wanna get any sweetener. This is great. And it's so easy, you guys. Like if you reach for the wrong one by mistake, oh, I'm gonna get this, Bobby said it's good, boom. Well, Bobby didn't tell you to get vanilla and it's kind of hard to see there. And they're not just adding vanilla extract, they're adding seven grams of cane sugar, right? So be careful because you don't want the sugar, but man, I'm all about fostering the good gut of my bacteria and that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is the yogurt right over there and yogurt is going next, next level. Let's take a look over here because there's some great ones here at Whole Foods. All right, let's talk yogurt because they have some amazing yogurt selections here. And if you're talking yogurt and you're talking dairy, organic is great, grass fed is better. So we look at two milks here or two yogurts. Both are great, right? Grass fed, 100%, but this is 100% grass fed and Greek. And when you strain the yogurt for the Greek process, you actually remove a lot of the sugar. So it's lower sugar, lower carbs, and you up the protein because you're intensifying or straining it. So this is best in class. You can't find it everywhere. And to be honest, you can't find this everywhere, but I would go with these two, Greek being the better. But if you shop somewhere else, we wanna hook you up like we talked about in the intro. So I would probably just get the stony field organic whole milk. And not everywhere carries whole milk, 
And we talked about this before, whole milk is good because when you're talking about quality dairy, like organic or grass-fed, whole milk is where the good fat lives, the omega-3 fatty acids. You don't ever want to go low fat or no fat organic or grass-fed milk because that's a good fat, right? Now I get even more excited about the dairy-free options now because there's a couple newbies here. This one just came to Whole Foods a week ago. Look at this. This is the guys who make a kombucha GTs. They're making Kokoyo and it's living yogurt. How is it living? Well, it has the raw probiotic cultures in there, but look at this. Young coconut, raw. Coconut water, raw. This stuff, we got it the, uh, the other week and we tried it. It's delicious, it's really creamy. Art just made a face like I didn't like it too much. It's not your typical yogurt. It's almost like a yogurt creme brulee, but it has like a, almost a bubble effect on your tongue. It's very pricey, you guys. It's, where is it? $5.99 here. It's very expensive, but it's very unique. Now, if you want to go regular, yogurt for dairy-free. This one here is amazing. It's the Greek style Kite Hill. We've talked about it before. And this is the only Greek style dairy-free yogurt. And because it's Greek style, we have way more protein. We have 11, say 11 grams of protein there. 13. 13, thank you, Art. Art's paying attention. Way more than normal. And there's no added sugar, but you gotta get the plain one. And the reason why there's more uh, protein, it's strained and they add almond protein uh, isolate to that. It's basically the uh, protein powder, which is amazing. And then I've talked about it before, but I still love this brand. Some of the flavors are kind of acidic, but it's a paleo yogurt that has next level ingredients. And this is the vanilla one. But if you get other flavors that actually have flavors, they use vanilla, they use strawberries, but I've never seen ingredients like these. It's totally crazy what they do. Some of the flavors are a bit acidic. I've emailed them, so I think they need to just adjust that because this is next level non-dairy yogurt. And I think the wave of the future is coming. Super, super tasty stuff. They have a great seafood selection here at Whole Foods. They seem to have a lot of sales on a wild caught shrimp, which is very important to get wild. Once in a while, they have a sale on my favorite fish, Branzino. It's a whole Mediterranean white fish. But something they always have is this. It's Atlantic farm salmon. So check this out. This says farmed, right? And a lot of people get scared about that. We have a whole video about farm salmon versus wild. And here's the deal. I only buy farm salmon at a couple places and Whole Foods is one of them because their farm salmon comes from Norway. Norway is known in the business as having some of the top standards when it comes to responsibly farmed fish. Now, not all farmed fish out of Norway is good, but I know for a fact they source it from good farms. What do I mean by that? Farms are another word for aquacultures. You have to make sure you don't overcrowd. You gotta make sure the feed is really good. And you gotta make sure it's done responsibly. They do it right. Um, seafoodwatch.org typically rates Norwegian farm salmon as one of the top. And if it's not gonna be good quality farm salmon, don't eat it. You're much better getting this stuff, the wild salmon here. And great sale, look at this. So when it's on sale like this, I usually scoop it. It's the same price as the farm salmon right now. Yes, it has a higher nutritional profile and it's wild swimming and free. But a lot of times the sockeye fillets or like the coho salmon is very meaty and very lean and it's very easy to overcook. But when you buy the farm race, see all the fat in there? It's like a well marbleized steak. It's very hard to overcook that. So it does have its place. I do prefer to eat wild caught, but a lot of times I'll get farm raised and I'll use that one right there. And look at this, just like I said, oh, well, these are interesting. So shrimp are on sale here, but look at this sign. It's a, oh, it is wild caught. So wild caught 16 to 20 for 9.99 a pound. Normally it's $16, it's a huge saving you guys of $6 and 16 to 20 means they're 16 to 20 to a pound. These do have the shell on and the vein. That's when you call art. He is known as the shrimp de pooper. He can plow through a pound in no time flat. So just give him a ring, get the sale. He loves to take that poop out, I'm telling you. <laughs> you can't leave the frozen aisle without talking about the best in class bread available at the grocery store. And it's these guys. It's a small woman owned company called Base Culture. And they make a keto bread that only has four grams of net carbs per slice, but it has ingredients that you'll never see in any other bread. So we have almond butter, golden flaxseed meal, apple cider vinegar, almond flour. Why this is exciting to me is that in addition to being keto, it's also paleo, it's grain-free, it's gluten-free. Watch my bread review video. I think I have two of them now. 
we talk about if you eat bread, it's gotta be whole grains. But we have a keto paleo household. This is fantastic because it's not loaded with a bunch of simple starches and simple carbohydrates like most gluten-free breads are that spike your blood sugar. This won't spike your blood sugar. It tastes great. The one downside is, look, it's $9.99 a loaf. I know, I know, it's very, very pricey. It's on Amazon for the same exact price, but I'm telling you, it's one of the best breads around that is actually really, really good for you, and they only have it at Whole Foods. There is another option I wanna show you around the corner for cauliflower thins that are keto and make the best sandwich buns ever. All right, here it is. And it's only been available online up until now. These are outer aisle cauliflower sandwich thins. So if you're keto or paleo, wow, wow, wee wow, these are amazing. First, let's talk about the ingredients. So they're made out of cauliflower. They have eggs here. They have nutritional yeast and Parmesan. So it's kind of interesting because nutritional yeast is vegan Parmesan. So I'm not sure why they add both, but each one has one net carb. We're talking minimal ingredients. Why I love this? You can make a sandwich and use this as the buns. Art and I have a video, I don't, I'm not sure if it came out yet, uh, for uh, my best ever egg salad. We made a sandwich using this. We toast it up in the oven. It is so darn delicious. Now they do have a pizza crust, but I have found that it doesn't get to the point of crispiness that it can handle sauce and cheese. But I think it's so cool they have this because up until now it's only been available online. And then look down here. If you want a paleo, check this out, grain-free tortilla, these guys do it beyond right. This one, the cashew flour, siete tortilla. Look at this, grain-free, meaning there's no corn, no grain in there. Incredible ingredients, arrowroot, cashew flour, cone jack, apple cider vinegar. And of all the ones they have, they have uh, chickpea, they have chia, they have almond flour, yet the cashew, because the cashew actually has a very similar texture and flavor to flour tortillas. Now they're pricey. They're $8 for eight of these, but hello, look at this, on sale until, I don't know when. Oh, here we go, uh, two eleven. So run and get these, because they're expensive. And actually Walmart has one of these varieties, but it's the same price. And they can be pricey, but man, if you're paleo or gluten-free, by far the best tortilla on the planet. Austin, Texas has some amazing startups going on, and they are part of that fuel that is fanning that fire. You guys know that when it comes to tomato sauce or marinara sauce, I'm on Team Rayos all the way. Ingredients are great, flavor's great. You buy that big uh, two-pack over at Costco, the best deal ever. But there's a new player in the market, and it's Primal Kitchen. They're slowly expanding their best-in-class product line, and now it includes pasta sauces. I've tried the tomato basil one, it's good. But what really gets me excited, because we're dairy-free, is this. It's a no-dairy Alfredo sauce with avocado oil. Look at the ingredients, it's only a few here. But cashew butter, great, avocado oil, great. Real ingredients like garlic, onion powder, nutritional yeast, AKA vegan Parmesan. They were nice enough to send me like a gift box uh, last month and I tried this, it's delicious. Now it's interesting because come here, check this out. Victoria, who makes a good marinara sauce, has her own version too. But compare the ingredients, punch in here, right? Starts out with cashews, which is great, but they put a touch of sugar in there, so automatically it's not paleo. They have natural cocoa butter flavors, so natural flavors, and they have cornstarch, which uh, Primal Kitchen doesn't have. So not terrible, but Primal's really, really clean. They have this no dairy vodka sauce, which is basically a combination of their marinara with a little bit of the cashew uh, cream sauce. Super, super clean, pricey, yes, but it's really good. If you're dairy free, there's not many options that are clean, and that is. Now, really quickly, we all know I love Rayos, but whether you're buying sauce at Whole Foods, Walmart, you should really get the good brands like Rayos, Lucini, because when you look at something like Rayos, it's always made with whole peeled tomatoes. And that's important because one of the cheaper ones, like uh, Ragu or those guys, they always use tomato concentrate, and those are inferior tomatoes. This brand here might be even better in terms of a uh, ingredient list, Cucina Antica, because they're using San Marzano tomatoes, which I love. But once again, they're whole San Marzano tomatoes and they're using extra virgin olive oil. So super clean. So just keep that in mind, no matter where you buy, try to get uh, whole peeled tomatoes and minimal ingredients, no sugar, no filler. Those are some of the best. But for me, Rayos, you always have my heart.
I love my spices. In fact, we did a video a week and a half ago all about spices and how to buy them, but I wanted to talk about it here in case you didn't see it. This is how I buy spices. In the bulk section, one or two ounces of spices at a time. If you buy them in the grocery store, in the glass, on the shelf, number one, you're overpaying. Number two, you don't know how long they've been there. Coffee and spices are very similar in that as soon as you grind them, it's a ticking time bomb, right? Ground spices will start to lose their flavor after three months. After 12 months, I would pitch it. Why? Because these have volatile essential oils in there. Those are responsible for the flavor. After six months, they're really starting to tail downhill. After 12 months, yes, it will have some flavor, but not near what it had when it's fresh. So let's go to my favorite spice of all time. Let's say it on three. One, two, three, smoked paprika, right? We look at this. This is actually a great deal. Really good company, Frontier, for organic ground paprika, $17.99 a pound. There are 16 ounces in a pound, so that's $1.12 a pound. No, I did not do that math in my head. Art did it ahead of time. He's our un unofficial accountant. Uh, this is fantastic because you go per ounce to the one on the, uh, on the shelf in the middle aisles. It's more than double the price. And I know for a fact that a place like this will turn over their spices really quickly. So don't worry about these being old, but it would be nice if they had a little sticker here that said, hey, refilled on 130 or something like that. Um, also, if you live in a town that has a spice shop or any other bulk section, try to buy them from there. We're talking peak freshness, peak flavor, and saving money. When you're adding this to food, it's free flavor. You want as much flavor as possible. This is one of the best kept secrets, I believe, at a place like Whole Foods. We have many videos about eggs, but I just want to quickly go over it because there are more and more pasture-raised egg options at the grocery store, and the benefit of being at a Whole Foods, they have a lot. Heck, we were at Walmart the other day. They had no pasture raised and very little even organic. The neighborhood market, thank you. But even the Walmart super centers have never seen a pasture raised egg. You guys tell me. Here's the deal. This is the pasture raised egg I get all the time. It's the Vital Farms Organic Pasture Raised. So let's just quickly say when you talk about pasture raised, pasture raised is completely different than free range. It's completely different than cage free. Those are marketing terms used by the industry that mean nothing. Pasture raised combined with certified humane will guarantee you that these chicks are outside all day to the evening eating bugs, worms, grass, and have a supplemental feed of grain. But because it's organic, it's non-GMO grain. Please keep in mind, all pasture raised birds are gonna have a supplemental feed of grain, which is why I encourage you, if you take the step to pasture raised, get the organic or at least get ones that say non-GMO. But there's so many brands now there's Farmer's Hen House, there's Blue Sky, they're popping up everywhere. Um, if you're a Trader Joe's shopper, I'm actually gonna get two of these because they're on sale. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, it's 10% off, so I'm talking about $6, so I'll scoop these. Um, Trader Joe's does have Carol's brand in Chino Valley. They're pasture raised, they're great. They're better than every other egg at Trader Joe's, but keep in mind, they're not the organic or non-GMO kind, so it's kind of a bummer. I wish they would upgrade, but still, it's better than any other. Any pasture raised egg is better than any other egg on the market, and I really think it's time to start eating that. Better yet, pastured organic. Whole Foods has a really great produce section, and actually, ever since Amazon bought them a few years ago, the prices have come down. In fact, we have a video from the other week about how I buy produce at the grocery store. We filmed it right here, so check it out as soon as this one is done. But I wanna highlight a couple things I always get here. I like buying things in the bulk section, whether it's bulk here or bulk pantry staples over there, because you're saving money when you're not getting the packaging. And one of the things I get is, check it out, organic cremini mushrooms. So these are cremini mushrooms, AKA baby Bella, AKA baby portobello mushrooms. Tons of flavor here, you guys, because if you're typically cooking with white button mushrooms, no offense to these ones, but the flavor is not near to cremini mushrooms and you can get organic ones, look at this, in bulk here for $5.99. That's a really good deal. So that's one thing I always get here. The other one would be right here. I always get ginger, and I get turmeric. Now you can't find turmeric root everywhere. Asian markets will always have it, but I use this in my turmeric immune system boosting tea with ginger, cayenne pepper, uh, a little bit of lemon, black pepper, you know the deal. This stuff is fantastic. And if you watch our live streams on Friday, hashtag Fridays with Flav, and I hope you do, these are the red finger peppers that I always cook with, or I should say I garnish with. 
Once again, Asian markets will have these, but what I love about these is they're not too spicy. You can garnish a dish with these. It adds color, pop, and a little bit of heat, and I love them, and they just always have them here. I have two or three in my fridge at all time, but check out that produce video because there's a ton of stuff we talk about on hacks and money-saving techniques that'll really help you in the produce department. Normally when I walk up to a drinks case like this that has shakes and elixirs, I would get scared, right? They could be loaded with sugar, natural flavors, and other nasties. But here at Whole Foods, they're really clean, but one brand in particular tickles my taste buds in all the right way, and it is these guys, Rebel. So they make a ton of dairy-free elixirs that are crazy. I mean, look at the ingredients here. This is the hazelnut chocolate protein blend. We got organic coconut milk, coconut cream that makes it thick. But then we have pea protein, sunflower protein, the sweetener is coconut sugar, which is a low glycemic paleo sweetener. We have ashwagandha, maca, a uh, little bit of stevia. It only has four grams of sugar. So this to me is a superfood drink that is so low in sugar. One teaspoon of a paleo sweetener known as coconut sugar, I'm fine with. If you want a chocolate or a, a coffee fix, you can get the coffee blend here. Same amount of sugar. And even if you don't mind a little more paleo coconut sugar, I don't mind that. The Rishi chocolate here has 11 grams of sugar, which is a tad high, but it's coconut sugar and it's a splurge. But man, this stuff is super exciting. The other drink that we discovered recently is right around the corner. Let's check that one on because to me that is crazy next level too. All right, we talked about this one in the drinks video a couple weeks ago, but this is still one of the most exciting drinks that's sugar-free and has a gut healthy uh, benefit to it. Check it out. This is Bragg's. They're the OGs. So Mr. and Mrs. Bragg have been doing it right for a long time. This is an apple cider vinegar drink. They have Concord grape. They have ginger spice. They have apple cinnamon here. But why I get so excited about this is look at the ingredients here, you guys. We're talking about real apple juice. We're talking about apple cider vinegar. We're talking about real cinnamon and it's sweetened with stevia. Only has four grams of sugar in an eight ounce bottle. Oh, I'm sorry, there's two servings, but so eight grams of natural sugar, zero added. But this, that's the probiotic bacteria or the mother. And that's really, really good because it's good for your gut. We talked about gut health before. This is fantastic to drink on an empty stomach or in the morning because it's almost like a detox or like a reset. When you combine it with a natural sugar and these flavors, this one actually tastes like an apple pie. It's so delicious. It's a little pricey at 369, but I haven't seen anything else like this on the market. And it's really, really cool. All right, family, that is it. The Whole Foods haul is over. Man, there is some next level stuff here. A lot of it's at other grocery stores, but some of it is Whole Foods specific, but it really makes me excited. Uh, Art, or the, far, the artist formerly known as Art, now known as the Shrimp de Pooper. Oh, come on, we're ditching uh, that title. <laughs> he doesn't like the title at all. <laughs> I think this is great. Uh, you guys, share. Sharing is caring. The only way this channel keeps growing the way it has is all because of you. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Leave a comment down below if you have a video suggestion. But Art and I have two more videos going below us right now. We will see you very soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.